Hi, I'm Gary, the product director here at Pluggable. Today we're going to be talking about the new M2 MacBook Pro platform just launched by Apple and discussing some options for M2 owners to add additional external monitors. So let's jump in. Apple announced the new M2 IC with great fanfare at the WWDC event in early June, a little more than a year and a half since the launch of the original M1, which dropped in late 2020. This chip will be at the heart of the upcoming 2022 MacBook Air, as well as the 2022 13-inch MacBook Pro, which is what I've got here with me today. And it contains some notable improvements on the performance uh, and efficiency fronts, thanks uh, in large part to the addition of two additional graphics cores and an improved uh, chip process node. It's important to note that the M2 represents the new entry point into the Mac lineup. It isn't meant to, and in fact does not, supplant the M1 Pro or M1 Max CPUs, which were introduced in late 2021. Another interesting thing to note is something that hasn't changed from M1 to M2, which is how many native external monitors you can connect. Both the M1 and M2 CPUs support a single native external display via the Thunderbolt-enabled USB-C port. For now, connecting more than one native display requires choosing an M1 Pro or M1 Max CPU. So you've got an M2 system and want to run more than one external monitor. What options are there? Well, one of the best options is to use a solution like DisplayLink USB graphics technology, which uses an installable driver and a custom designed chip to work around some of the constraints of your native laptop capabilities. DisplayLink has been around for nearly 20 years and is a flexible, mature uh, performance solution that meets the needs of vast majority of typical web and productivity workloads. A couple exceptions where we don't recommend it are for gaming and playback of protected media content. So let's take a look at a couple of our products that use DisplayLink and can help you accomplish more than a single external monitor on your new M2. So first up, we have our newly redesigned UD Alt C 4K triple display docking station, affectionately known internally uh, as the Mark II. The original version of this dock was released in 2017, and this updated version represents years of customer feedback and technology improvements. For a deep dive on this product, check out our dedicated video linked in the description below, uh, as well as our website but let's take a quick look at some of the key features. The dock supports up to three monitors at resolutions up to 4K at 60 Hertz with any combination of HDMI and DisplayPort. More on that in a second. It also has vastly upgraded charging capabilities with up to 100 watts of USB-C power delivery for charging your laptop and a front USB-C port that offers 20 watts of PD charging for your phone, tablet, or other device. That front USB-C port also supports uh, 10 gigabits per second data transfer speeds, which is pretty cool, and the first for one of our uh, non-Thunderbolt docks. And of course, there's your audio jacks, gigabit ethernet connection, and lots of USB 3.0 ports. This dock is designed to use a combination of technologies to support three external monitors. And it's designed with flexibility in mind, supporting any combination of HDMI or DisplayPort uh, displays, each with resolutions up to 4K60. The first output here is powered by DisplayPort alternate mode, sometimes known as USB-C alternate mode. Uh, USB-C alternate mode is like a pipeline directly to your system's internal graphics chip. So it consumes that single external output that the M2 provides. That port supports a monitor uh, at full native GPU performance up to 4K 60 Hertz uh, on most modern systems. So as you can see, I've got our UDLC 4K Mark II dock connected to our M2 MacBook. We've got three monitors going with a combination of USB-C alternate mode and DisplayLink USB uh, graphics technology. Uh, we've got the DisplayLink driver installed and operational. And just dragging this 
window between the different displays here just to give a sense of how performant it is. Um, you know, I think most people would be pretty hard pressed to determine which of these monitors is a native uh, connection, which is using a uh, virtual driver based connection. Next, we'll be looking at another of our popular docking stations, the UD6950H dual display docking station, which we've got set up here. It's a solid option for people looking to add a cost-effective dock that enables two additional external monitors on their M2. The UD6950H is a pure display link design, so no third display here or USB-C alternate mode, or charging for that matter. You'll see we've once again got the flexibility for your choice of HDMI or DisplayPort monitors, and each is capable of running at up to 4K at 60 hertz. In addition to the ability to add two external monitors, it provides six USB 3.0 ports, gigabit ethernet, and audio input and output jacks. We also include both a USB-C and a USB 3.0 USB-A cable to connect to a wide range of systems. So as you can see here, we've got things connected to our UD6950H, things perform well, and overall just really provides a solid experience for your multi-monitor workflows. Thank you so much for watching, and as always, we love to see and respond to your comments and questions below.